our bishop and the clergy, um, Brother Paul Diego, Mama Chelimo, Mama K. Paul Diego, na familia yote, to the head of public service, Ndugu Kipchomba Murkomen, the Minister for Transport, Roads and Infrastructure, all my brothers in the National Assembly and in the Senate, members of County Assembly, Waumbolezaji Wote, being shot on protocol, including our Governor, Governor Sang, the Governor from the other side, my friend for, for a very long time, being shot on protocol because of time. Let me say that I'm here on behalf of the Speaker of the National Assembly, Speaker Right Honorable Moses Justice Masika Wetangula. Paul, the Speaker, was to be with you here, and he told us he spoke with you. Because of the nature of the functions he has to undertake on behalf of the state, he's not been able to make it. But he still sat us down, that was yesterday, and asked if there is a member of the Presidium or the Speaker's panel who could represent him uh, in condoling you as we mourn Mwendasake Peter Kiplagat Ichi. And it was very easy for me to say, Speaker, send me. I said, Speaker, send me because of the relationship a personal relationship I've had with Paul Diego. And I told the speaker yesterday that even if I were not to be sent by him, I was still coming for this funeral. And I know I told very many colleagues I have here who come from this region that I would be in this funeral even before I knew I would also be sent by the speaker. Paul, in Luland we say, a chick that will grow into a cock is identified and seen on the very day the chicks hatch. Paul is a unique person in Parliament. I remember losing my own father in October last year. And you remember we had just come from elections. I had not met Paul in person. But Paul did not just stand with me. Paul also picked his phone and called me to say, Paul. And so, Paul, I know what you're going through in losing your own son. I feel it having lost my father. I can't imagine how painful it can be to lose your own child. So mine is to pray that God gives you comfort and strength to stand back on your feet for the family, for the people of Chesume, and to come back to Parliament where you serve your people very well. Let me now, therefore, read the condolence message of the speaker to you and your family. Fellow mourners, family and friends, with profound shock and disbelief, I received the news of Master Peter Kiplagat Bichi. Following, passing on, following a short illness bravely born on Wednesday, 18th October, 2023. <coughs> Honorable Paul Diego MP kindly received deepest condolences and profound sympathy to you and your family during this difficult time. On behalf of the Speaker of the National Assembly, on behalf of the National Assembly and on behalf of Parliament, the membership of Parliament and the Presidium of the House, my heart goes out to your entire family. The beloved mom of the late child, Mama Yemaima Chelimo, and the siblings, Perpetua Cherop, Patrick Kipto, Philip Kimutai, Patricia Chepkoech, and Lawrence Kibet. There is no doubt in my mind that the loss of a child is an indescribable pain. And words can hardly express the deep, the depth of sorrow 
that accompanies such a tragedy as the one you find yourself in. Peter Beach's untimely departure is a loss not only to your family, but to our entire nation. In his uh, demise, is a budding future that has been prematurely cut short. In this time of grieving, I would like you to know that you are in our thoughts and prayers. Your parliamentary friends, colleagues, and I, your speaker, are here to offer our support and assistance in whatever way that you may require to ease the burden of this loss. Peter's memory will forever live, live on in our hearts and minds of those who had the privilege of knowing him. We join you in celebrating his life and the positive impact he had on the lives of those around him during his uh, short life. Once again, please accept our sincerest condolences. I hope that in the midst of this darkness, you find moments of solace and comfort in the cherished memory of your beloved son, Peter Kiplagat. With the deepest sympathy, may the young man's soul rest in perfect peace until we meet again. The Right Honorable Dr. Moses Francis Masika Watangula, EGH MP and Speaker of the National Assembly. And so I will be delivering this to you shortly. But allow me, having read the address of the speaker, to say a word or two. Simmeni Kubali. And I'll be very mindful of time. The National Assembly is a whole secondary school. We have 350 MPs there. In those 350 MPs, some of them have not even introduced themselves to date. <laughs> Let me just say thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. My name is this and this. I represent such people. Our Janena. And you will see this in the newspapers. I wanted to tell you that the member of parliament we are mourning his son today is a very unique one. It's among just a very small group of MPs who Whenever I assist the speaker to preside over parliament, I know Honorable Paul Diego will speak when three matters arise. Roads, electrification, and education. Three major things. In fact, you remember, Paul, the last time the Minister for Energy was in the house, I was the one presiding during questioning. And because of the time uh, was gone, and I also have to protect, uh, you know, hata kama mnafikiri bile, eh? Nikika pale, tunajua the head of state is President William Ruto. So, kama waziri wake hako pale, si unajua namna ya kufanya. So, najuanga bile, anaongea mingi juu ya energy, I tried to stop him, head of public service. And I can tell you, he came to the chair and said, if I don't speak, you will not walk out of this chamber. <laughs> and uh, though time was gone, and to get him an appointment with the minister, I requested the minister meet on Rebo Pond, uh, uh, Diego, at your offices and sort out those issues. So he's a great leader. We are praying for you to come back on your feet so that your services may be received by the nation at the platform of parliament. Yapili, you people are very lucky people. And it is very beautiful to be among you. But there is something we people at the lakeside do better than you people. <laughs> I tell you, if President William Ruto did not succeed, there would be no position in the country today. What? I'm in my third term, you cannot imagine it. Most so if you want President William Ruto to continue. 
this is on you have a very good uh, breed of leaders try to build them up i know them personally cynthia the tour all the mps here uh Ketan, and all of them engineer paul men if you bring new people and papa gives us direct nomination the way you know he will do <laughs> Ndiyo wajua serikali na wasimamie na kaluma kwa bunge unajua itakuwa tabu. Hata mkisaksidi wili ya matakuwa na tabu sana. So I know it is your habit, but I want to beg you this time you have a very good breed of leaders, more so in, in parliament. Those who want to come back, please get them back, led by this gentleman. Ya pili, and the second last. You know chirargei, hata jana tulikuwa tunakula kwa plate moja. Sidi ukwili? Yes. Watu wetu na watu wenu si ni jamii moja. Na mnajua pale tulitoka. Yes. Ukiamuka hapa chini Kisumu iko wasichana tu wenu wengi. Na wajaluo pia wako wengi upande huu. Sasa so, ile wakati unasema kama mazungumzo italeta handshake au itaki unataka wale wajuku wenu wakule nini ule upande. <laughs> I want to tell you it is very easy for people in a position like us to get development. Because we can abuse government, Pia Ikikata, we demonstrate. Pia Ikikata, easy for your leaders to, to demonstrate. Also, it's the man and Didi, a Murkomen, Kifanya Kasi, Saidien Yanzeni Naumi. Take care of Mount Kenya, head of public service. But after you are done, if you don't remember our place, remember Oma Bay Town constituency. <laughs> you know, Mimi ni nafanya kasi gumu sana. Kama budget ya mwaka huu, Honorable Mukome, na I'm the one who passed it at the Committee of Supplies. Ni nasoma iso figure, coin by coin, paka ifanya nini? Nisha. And your mana Mimi ni nasema sante, Mukome ni ukija, ile barabara, unakumbuka the one we are naming after you. The... <laughs> na huku lakini unakumbuka tena Oma Bay Town. Hapo ile wakati ninakaa ninasoma wale watu wananiambia ni kama Kaluma kwa upande ikisema the I serve it the I serve it. Na unajua yetu sio mingi. Hapa nimesikia 300 km sijui gani. Sina ni 10 km tu. Inatoka airport. Uganda tena inafika hapo. Na juu yake tutakukabidhi kuwa Luelda. Eh? Asante sana. Thank you very much.